Today, I'm going to show you how to make pizza. But before we get to all this stuff, I'm going to show you how to make the world's easiest pizza dough. And not only is it easy, you're going to love this because one of the key ingredients is, you got it, brewskis. All you need to make the dough are just five things. Flour, baking powder, beer, honey, and salt. The uh, olive oil isn't going in the pizza so much as on the pizza dough when we get ready to let it rise. So to make it even easier, I'm going to show you how to do it in a Cuisinart. If you don't have a Cuisinart or any other type of food processor, obviously you can mix this up in a bowl, but you know, why get the hands dirty when you don't have to? So we're going to move over to the Cuisinart in a minute, and then I'm going to give you one other little uh, word of warning. I'm going to show you how to cook this pizza, get this, in your barbecue. That's right, we're going to do pizza on the barbie today on Man Cave Munchies. Did you miss me? Well, here I've assembled everything we need right at the uh, food processor. So the first thing you're going to do, open it up. We're going to start, as we always start off recipes like this, we start with the dry ingredients first. So, first thing we do is we take our flour, and we're going to measure three cups of flour. One. Two. keep this handy because depending on the consistency of the dough you're going to need some in fact later on when we go and knead the dough a bit you're going to need some more anyway then we put in the baking powder which in this case is one tablespoon like so going to put in about a teaspoon of salt I got Himalayan salt here but you know any salt will do in a pinch remove the lump about a teaspoon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this bad boy back together. We're just going to pulse it a little bit so we can mix up the dry ingredients. All right. Now for the rest of this, we can actually put it in through the top if we want, but I'm going to take the plug out just to make it a little bit easier. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of Mr. Honey here because yeast likes something sweet. It's got a sweet tooth. There we go. Neatness does not necessarily count. And then I'm going to put the lid back on and I'm going to start mixing it up some more. This time I'm going to leave it on and then we're going to pour in the brewski. We're going to do this nice and easy. No hurry. You can see it's starting to work its magic. It's like a slow motion volcano, right? You'll know it's done when it turns into dough dough pulls away from the side. Keep going until you've actually used up all the beer. I need to pulse a little bit. Make sure all gets nice and done. There we go. actually clean itself. That's how you know when it's finished. Be patient with it. It'll take a minute or so and you'll do the job. And stop. Now we're going to take it back over to the kitchen and work some magic. We're going to knead it on our, our little uh, board. So stand by. There it is. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of flour on this board. Okay, and we're going to take this out. Now be careful because obviously when you're using the blade it's kind of sharp, but you want to try to get as much of the dough off it as you can. And I said the nice thing about the Cuisinart is that it mostly cleans it. But we're not quite there yet, so what we're going to do is we're going to work this dough a little bit on our board. 
And this is where you get your hands into it. But like I said, using a, a food processor, at least it keeps you from getting, you know, what I call Franken fingers. All right, and you know, we don't have to work this thing forever. Just want to knead it a little bit. I'm going to turn it into dough. It's going to probably absorb a little bit more of the flour if it gets a little sticky. Put a little more flour down, which is what I'm going to do here. All right. But there we go. We've got some nice pliant dough. Nothing to it. Then we're going to take Mr. Bowl. Bonk. And we're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. And what you want to do, a little bit, a little drizzle of olive oil. And then, you know, not too much, not too little. You kind of roll it around here because what we're going to do is we're going to roll the pizza in this, the dough. And we're just doing that to kind of keep it from sticking to the bowl because now we're going to go into the most difficult portion of the process, which is waiting. What you're going to do is you're going to put a towel over this and you're going to let this bad boy rise for about an hour to two hours. And then we'll be back. All right, we're back to the scene of the crime here. And as you can see, he's done a bit of rising. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this bad boy out of here. We're going to put it back on our flour board. And we're actually going to break it into two pieces because we're going to end up with two pizza doughs. Now the exception is if you decide to do one of those Chicago deep dish pizzas, then you'll only have one. So I'm just going to roll it around a little bit just to get a little bit out of it. I'm going to cut it in half. I'll put the other half back in the bowl. We'll use it later. And then this one you're going to roll out into a circle. And I'm going to show you what you do with it next. So let's take this rolling pin here. I'll put a little bit of flour on just to keep it from sticking. And we're just going to roll this puppy out just a bit. And then we're going to take it from there and do it by hand. Because that's also part of the fun of making a pizza. you got to get in there. Speaking of making a pizza, the problem with most American pizzerias is they make pretty much the same kind of pie. You get your pepperoni, you get your sausage, you get your... You know, margarita pizza, but what, the thing about pizza is there's all kinds of things you can put in it. And while every pizza requires a bit of mozzarella, the one thing that isn't a requirement on every pizza is sauce. We're going to put, we're going to make one traditional pizza with sauce and sausage and some green peppers and things. But then we're also going to make us another pizza, which is going to be a uh, more of a California pizza. We're going to use a lot of veggies. Right. And yes, you stretch, you stretch, you stretch, you stretch. You can flip. Just don't flip too high or you get this puppy stuck on the ceiling. And then the important thing is this. You don't want to be putting this thing onto the pie pan. At least not yet. What we're going to do is we're going to transfer it onto a pizza board. And onto the pizza board we're going to sprinkle a little bit of cornmeal. Because the whole point is it's going to act like ball bearings. And we're going to put the pizza on here, and then we're going to slide it off onto the finished pizza onto the grill. By the way, I've got the grill out there firing up. And I'm using actually a combination of, of wood, and I'm using some charcoal in there. You can use all charcoal, but again, we're not looking to smoke this thing. We're looking to make us a nice pie. So anyway, once you get it about the right size, and it should fit your board pretty well. It doesn't have to be exactly round. Okay, what you want to do, you want to spread it out. I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this thing a full-size pie. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit more on this side here to make it more or less round. Although, again, this isn't something where neatness counts. Okay, and then the important thing is this. When you start to make your pizza, if you want to use sauce, remember one thing. A little goes a long way. You don't want to drown the thing in sauce. And actually, this is a little, this is bolognese that I made. It's a little bit of spaghetti sauce that I have left over. And what's nice about it is it's got some meat in it. So we're going to spread a little bit, just a light layer of the sauce down here. Okay. And like I said, it's already got some meat chunks in it. Marinara works well, too. And you always want to make sure you leave a little ring around the outside that doesn't have sauce. Because that's where you're going to get your, your crust. And the crust is going to thicken up nicely. Okay, it should be bad enough. We don't want to overkill it. Like I said, you don't want to make it a swimming sauce. It's pizza, not soup. So just spread it around nicely. Make sure you leave your border, because that's part of the joy of having a pizza. Okay, then we're going to add what we feel like having. In this case, I'm going to put some sausage, right? 
And again, it doesn't have to be pepperoni. This is actually, believe it or not, andouille sausage that I happen to have around. Ooh, that one tried to get away. All right, you don't need tons, but you know, if you want to make a little bit of a meat pizza, I'm going to throw a little bit of green peppers on there too. All right, just you know. Again, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical. In fact, that's the whole point of a pizza. No two bites are alike. All right, throw a little bit more of that down there. Okay, I'm going to add in a wee bit of green olives, just for color. And of course, again, just to give it a little more texture and surprising flavors. You know, the whole point is, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, this is good mozzarella. Don't get the cheap stuff, okay? Mozzarella should be almost, in fact, I had to take this and put this thing in the shredder. But it should come out almost like a um, soft cheese. Shouldn't be real stringy and hard. And same thing I said before, you know, you don't want to kill this thing. You want to give it a little cheese here and there, but don't turn it into a damn cheese sandwich. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and a little bit there. And again, as this melts, it will spread. And it'll do what it's supposed to do. All right. There we have our first pie, which we're going to go put onto the, onto the coal. So All right. You on. remember our friend, Mr. R2D2, that I used in our smoking class. And you'll notice, too, that there's a little... Hang on here, it says hot. You want it to be a little hotter than normal because again, you want this pizza to brown. So hold on, I'm gonna bring out the pie. I'm using my deep dish pizza oven because uh, I wanna make sure I don't kill this thing. So anyway, if you got it right, you don't have to give it too much of a scooch, just a little help. We'll get it on there. And then we're gonna put the lid back on it. And we're gonna let this cook for approximately 10 minutes. And then we're gonna come out and we should have a pizza. While we're waiting for that to get done, we're going to make us our second pie. So once again, pull it out, roll it around a little board on, on the board, a little flour. Put a little flour on your rolling pin and roll. Once you get it to a certain extent, then like I said, transfer it over to your hand and start doing it again. It's the back of your hands you want to use. And it'll stretch nicely, especially if you don't drop it like I just did. <laughs> if you're going to drop it, drop it on the counter, not on the floor, right? I'm going to flip it, be my guest. And again, you want it to more or less get to be about the size of the board. Round it out a bit. And as I said, this time what I'm going to do, so I'm going to make it a little different. What I'll do is I'll, I'll put it right onto the board over here because this is what I'm going to be using on the, this is my little pizza, this is my backup pizza pan. So I'm using the other one right now. Make sure you put a little bit of that, just again, it keeps it from sticking. Okay, and then we just lay it out. There we go. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? And this time, I'm going to use veggies. So I've got some chunks of eggplant here. And I've got some zucchini here. So we're going to do this a little California pizza while the other one's cooking. Got some shrooms. You know, do have some fun with this thing. If the shrooms are too big, cut them in half. Throw some zooks down there. Heck, I've even got some artichoke here, which I'm going to shred up on top of this bad boy. Just make sure you get the water out of it. You don't want to get this thing all wet. But like I said, this is like a little California-style pizza. And yes, I will put some mozzarella on it, but we're not there yet. Okay. Go. All right. A few more zooks. I like the veggie pizzas. And again, we're not going to put any uh, sauce on this, but we will put some cheese. And again, don't put too much. And then we're going to go out and check on our pie, and we'll just swap them out, and we'll be ready to go with the second pie. So stand by. Here we go. All right, let's see if our first pie is done. Not quite. Give it another minute and it should be finished. Here's the moment you've all waited for, but that's how you do it on the barbecue, guys. See you next time. Man Cave Munchies.